Okay, Miss Aubrey, it's so good to have you here. Now, let me ask, do you know why you're here today? Yes, uh, Mr. Adams, I'm here to apply for the position of Mrs. Adams. That's correct. Now, Miss Aubrey, in order to make sure that you're suited for the position, uh, we're going to interview you today and we're going to ask you a series of questions. So I want you to answer to the best of your ability and we'll see what happens, okay? Well, okay then, not a problem. Right, Fingers we'll crossed. Yeah. Okay. Now, Miss Aubrey, this position is very involved. It will require you to sacrifice much of your time, much of your energy. Uh, it'll require a lot of devotion. Mm. Is that something that you would be interested in? Most definitely. I'm all about quality time. Now, now just to be clear, I, I didn't mention quality time. I said it'll actually require you to sacrifice oh, much of your time yes. in order to service me as needed. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Most definitely. I can certainly do that. Not a problem at all. Oh, excellent. I will go ahead and check that off the list. Now, Ms. Aubrey, I'm also a man that loves to eat. Hmm. Um, I am going to require three square meals a day, mm -hmm. two snacks in between, a cold glass of orange Kool-Aid as well. How do you feel about cooking? You know, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up. It, it's actually been a dream of mine from a child. You know, I always wanted a man that can cook. Well, actually, let me, let me uh, cut you off right there. I didn't Sorry? say anything about me cooking. I was actually oh, referring to oh. you cooking. Oh. So again, we're talking about three square meals a day, two snacks in between, a cold glass of orange Kool-Aid. So um, is this something that would interest you? Okay, okay. I can get down with that. Um, I can subscribe for, to Food Network. Um, I can get a couple 30-minute meals. Listen, I really, really want this job. Well, that is great to hear. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me ask, Miss Aubrey, I'm a man of, well, let me make this statement. I'm a man of simple pleasures. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I guess aren't we all, right? Mm -hmm. So I enjoy the occasional foot massage, back massage, head massage when needed. Uh, what's your position on giving massages? Well, listen, I didn't want to come to this interview not prepared, mm -hmm. so I actually just completed a reflexology course and an aromatherapy course mm -hmm. from a well-known institute, NCII. NCII? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're known throughout the 79 states, Nigerian Certification Institute of Internet-Based Courses, mm -hmm. with only four payments of $519.62, I actually completed the course. Um, strangely, though I haven't gotten my certificate yet and it's been about four months and I hope they send it soon because it's only valid for a six then you have to do it again. Oh well Miss Aubrey so again do let us know when it arrives so we can place that on your file. Most definitely. Okay so finally Miss Aubrey I believe romance is important in any relationship wouldn't you agree? I definitely would. Okay so I don't I don't really mean to brag but I consider myself to be a hopeless romantic you know what I mean? Uh, so I absolutely love the idea of us being able to dress alike, um, hold hands, walking together. Does that sort of thing interest you? Most definitely. I'm all down for that. All right. That is excellent. So the reason I say it's excellent because I have two Dolphin jerseys, Miami Dolphin jerseys, that we can actually wear together. We can match. And that would be so awesome if we were able to do that. I always wanted someone to wear that with. You I mean, uh, but when last did they win exactly? Well, I don't know that that's actually relevant to this uh, interview okay, right sure, now. Sure. But the important thing is that we could actually dress alike when we go out. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To the games. And, you know, I, I like the romantic scene from Lady and the Tramp. You know what I mean? So I feel like if we're at the games, we can share a hot dog. It was actually spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, but though. we're at the games, so oh, we okay. can share okay. a hot dog. Okay. And then we can spend that time together with about 10,000 other fans around us screaming and yelling their heads off. You know what I mean? I mean, it sounds wonderful. It truly does. Okay. And the truth is, at some point, Miss Aubrey, I would want children. Mm. You know, I want them to come along. And I couldn't help but notice when you came in that you have nice childbearing hips. So I am thinking that you may be a person that can actually give me my starting five that I've five. always wanted. How do you feel about children? I, I mean, I'm all down for romance. I believe that once you're a great listener and you You know, actually, I think I've heard enough, uh, to okay. be honest with you. Um, I think I am ready to offer you the position. How do you feel about filling the role of Mistress Adams? Is that something you're willing to accept? I do. I do. When can I start?
How about now? Yes. It's Javier, right? Yes, it's Javier. Okay, very nice to meet you. Uh, now, Javier, I want you to know that the position you're applying for is a very special job. Mm -hmm. So, this position is going to be very important that this person holding this job is able to help me in various forms. Mm -hmm. um, cleaning the home, for example. Oh, is listen, I love to clean. I absolutely love to clean. Cleaning has always been my passion. Wow. And you know, the thing is, I say, what this world is really missing is more cleaning. Am I right? Oh, you're right. <laughs> so, cleaning yeah. has always been my passion. I'm very, very passionate about cleaning. Everywhere I go, I travel with my cleaning supplies. Okay. I have uh, Joy with me. I always carry some sanitizing wipes, some nice spray. I have a cloth. Even if I happen to walk into a public restroom, I always drop one of these in the toilet. So cleaning is my passion. I really love this thing. You know, you have something on your forehead, by the way. No, that's, that's okay. okay. Uh, that's fine. You sure? Thank you so much. Okay. So tell me, what about children? Oh, Do you like kids? I love kids. I adore kids kids they are just little adults running around having fun i just love to see kids having fun don't you yeah definitely i do um so how do you feel about dates oh i absolutely love dates dates strawberries plums any fruits no. i am very uh, no, much in love with dates no I, I i didn't mean fruits what i meant was like going on dates going out you know oh, going out with People. Yes, yes, yes. I can go outside with you. I like getting out. Okay, okay. Listen, you are checking most of the boxes. I'm getting a little bit of a vibe here. You know, though. I think I'm getting that vibe as well. <laughs> I'm glad we're making a connection here. <laughs> so that is so great to hear. Like I said, I love to clean. Okay. I love to cook. Uh -huh. I love to take care of kids. Yeah, that that it, it, it really sounds amazing, you know, and it's awesome. But I, I wouldn't be doing my job here if I didn't ask because you, you know, you like to cook, you like to clean, you love kids. Um, do you uh, like um, women? <laughs> Girlfriend, you know it. <laughs> Some of my best friends, actually, all of my best friends are women. Women's, 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 women's. Oh, you know, okay. so absolutely I do. You know, Javier, thank you so much for applying. Uh, we have your information. We'll be in touch. You'll hear from us, okay? Don't call us. We'll call you. Okay, I look forward to that call. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Send the next one in, please. Okay, thank uh, you. Take care. Uh, Carry your cleaning supplies. Uh, not a problem. Okay. Angie, send in the next candidate, please. Um, s sir, uh, it says here your name is Debo, is that right? Yeah, that's, De that's... Debo, oh, Debo. Oh, okay, okay, how are you today? It's all right, man, everything good. Sure. Mom. Oh, oh, okay, um, Debo, you here today to interview for a very important position. Would you mind um, having a seat? Uh, boss lady, I know about that. I, I, I don't really go nowhere where I sit with my back to the door. You see, that ain't, oh, that ain't wise. I could do the interview from right over here, though. Oh, okay. I okay. get over here still. You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's all that, man. All right. Um, uh, Debo, uh, the position that you're applying for is it, very important to me. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, I don't even know where to start. True God, I'd say I like long walks in the dark. Uh, I, I'm very popular on the club scene like that. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of people know me like that, you see. And then, I'd say I'm kind of famous, you know. I on, I on bulletins all over the city, man. So, a lot of people around here, they know who Debo is. They just get the eye wrong on the bulletin, but that, that's small things, man. True God. But, uh, listen, sweet girl, all I could say is, you stick with me. Hold on. Yeah, you stick with me. You could be going places, man. Where boss lady going, man? I ain't got time for this anyway. 
carry this. I sure I could get one fired all this for this, you know. You are so sweet. For you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, tell me, is that your Nissan? There was a dark colored Nissan out there? Yes. Is, is something wrong? Oh, absolutely nothing at all. Uh, what I did do for you, though, I took the liberty of cleaning the glass for you. So when you go to the gas station and you get a fill up, you don't have to tip the pump attendant anymore because the glass is already oh, clean. That is so sweet and so thoughtful, David. Thank you so much. Tell me something. Do you like chocolates? Yes, I love chocolate. Oh, great, because I brought you some chocolates. I'll put this right over here for you. <laughs> you think of everything. You are just so amazing, David. You're hitting all the right marks so far. I mean, I can't believe that you're doing all of this right now. You're filling this vacant. David, what, what are you doing right now? I'm so sorry. Listen, it's just you right now in this light at that angle i just had to make a sketch it's it's i just wanted to commemorate this occasion okay i'm so sorry i'm almost done but this is just perfect oh my goodness i <laughs> wow you are just everything right now um david let me ask you a question what is your idea of the perfect date well my idea of a perfect date mm -hmm. is a date that's all about you all right, so I would want to take the time to get to know you, to understand from you what makes you tick. Mm. And so the only way that I would have a perfect date would be if you were completely satisfied at the end of the date. Wow, wow, David, you, I mean, um, David, uh, can you tell me your thoughts about children and raising children? Indeed, children are a blessing from God. Aren't they? You know, yes, they are. I've actually taken the time to come up with a listing of names for children wow. that you can have a look at when you have an opportunity. There's okay. about 10 names there. They're all alliterated. 10? 10, yes. So you can work from that list, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. I think you can pull from that list. Uh, they're all alliterated, like I said. And I think I would love the opportunity to adopt, <gasps> you know, where we could share our love Dear. with someone that's deserving. You know what I mean? And I think that our kids can... Uh, play with a Pomeranian puppy that I just recently rescued. I have a photo of him. His name is Diamond. I, I can't take any more. I do. I do. You're it. I do. I do, That's David. It. I do. Well, I, I do. Let's seal this. Oh. <laughs>